Hello beautiful beings, welcome to the channel where we grow, glow, and expand our soul. Today we're going to talk about one thing when you're practicing not wanting to look at the 3D now, which is to stop comparing yourself to other people and what their circumstances are and what they are doing. These days, especially with social media, it's so normal for us to be able to just tune into other people's realities to see what they're doing how they're living but the thing is the reality that they are living and what they're showing you is not the full truth and regardless like they're only showing you their highlight reel they're not showing you when they are depressed when they're sad when they're crying when they're struggling when they're frustrated when they're jealous they're not showing you all those emotions so what you're seeing on other people's social media pages is basically what you know what they just felt most happy about a few second clip that 15 second clip that shows all this highlight reel of what they did what if it's not the truth what if it's not the truth. What I need you to stop doing, guys, is to stop comparing yourself to other people and what you see. And getting discouraged when you say that they have something that you also want, but you're feeling discouraged about it. Let's instead, whenever we do see that, we transform those feelings instead into appreciation, gratitude, as confirmation that we're getting it also, and it's gonna be even better than theirs. Okay? If you wanna have, if you wanna feel your ego like that, don't feel your ego like, oh my God, they have it, but why don't I? They have that manifestation, but why don't I have it? Feel it instead. Say, oh my God, they have that. I'm getting that too. Isn't that wonderful? I'm getting that. Whatever that is, I'm I have it too already. I already have that, and it's way better. It's way better than what they have but I have it, it's way better. For example, if you're manifesting a house and you see someone already has like a similar house style that you want and they manifest it so fast, like their story is basically exactly what you want. So you're like, oh my God, same thing, same me, me too. Like in your mind, that's what you have to think. You make yourself believe, yeah, me too. Same for me, that's exactly how it happened for me and it's even better than it happened before. Like comparing yourself is just not healthy, honestly, because it just makes you feel like you're not enough. It puts you back into the lack of mentality that you don't have it, that it's not here. When we do see someone have something else that we actually want we should instead be grateful for it. like oh my god this is a sign that it's meant for me as well you're so that, like if you're seeing someone else have what you want you're so powerful you're basically manifesting for other people in your reality you're, you're seeing it happen in your outward reality it's basically a big confirmation that is happening for you but you're that powerful that is happening for other people as well it's just showing you what you can have and what you are going to have comparing isn't something that we should comparing isn't something that we should um, instantly feel jealous by of which i know those jealous feelings are supernatural and they that's what they come up instantly but instantly you should think oh wait yeah i'm getting it but it's even better than i imagine like it's for me jealousy is actually a really nasty emotion it's a nasty emotion that we humans tend to feel quite often even with and even more with social media you know what i'm saying so it's like it can be hard to ignore the 3d but you know when you have when you're constantly look scrolling through social media seeing what other people have manifested what, how they have manifested what they have right now but you don't know how they got there what the struggles they went through so the thing is you can't really judge everybody just by their social media you know you you know yourself the most so you know look at your reality around you okay and make the best of it make it the most of your reality that you're living right now don't try to live through someone else's reality below by looking through social media because i know i do that too sometimes i just like look through other people's feed and see like will i ever experience that will i ever experience that like yes yes i can experience that. i can experience anything i want and i don't have to just live vicariously through so other people's social media i want to actually experience what they're experiencing too and i will get it you can support one another because there is there's always more than enough that's what i realized that's another thing i realized there's never a lack and the mindset of there's not enough competition competition against other people why why like why do you even put that in the mindset it's like super nasty and not a good feeling to be in and i don't want to compete against others i want to celebrate with others i want to be like yeah you got this we got this we're happy together we're achieving together like it's just it's just not a good thing to just being jealous and comparing yourself comparing yourself is super draining and just super mentally exhausting honestly like uh, like enough of it honestly just if you feel like you're just getting so overwhelmed by that by comparing by seeing like if we're not gonna, getting what you want I honestly just get off on social media like take like a quick one day break through two day break three day break a week a month long break however long you feel like you need to until you get back into the mentality of scrolling through social media and not really catching yourself into the feeling of seeing oh my god they have that like no we just look at it through a neutral perspective just be happy for them but if you feel like you're not being happy for them just get off social media honestly just turn that thing off disable it uninstall it 
right now. Because your journey is not the same as somebody else's. You are doing the best you can in your own way. Therefore, other people are as well. And no matter how fast or slow they get, everyone is on their own timing and their own skills. And the way you can do that is not by looking through other people's page and seeing like, oh my god, they have the, what I want, they have what I want. It's actually looking within yourself and seeing how can I improve my life to, in the best way possible. There are not The people that are achieving what they want, they're not maybe looking at other people's social media that often as you know as maybe somebody that achieving what they want is focusing on their own personal self-growth and ways they can improve themselves daily and be consistent and being disciplined with it so not just doing it once but they're being consistent with their affirmation with their meditations with their visualization creating, creating a vision board and then like living in the end when you are ignoring the 3d I just recommend having your social medias as you're just feeling the lack of it because it should feel abundance abundance is the key not the lack because that's just putting us back in the victim mentality that's not where we want to be we don't want to say there's a lack of what we want we're supposed to say there's abundance of what we want if we're saying other people have what you want there's an abundance of it there's more this for everyone it's for everyone and you and even better for you actually the 3d reality is just showing you that what you want is super possible and it's not impossible like it's not impossible you see other people having it you can have it too even better even better that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying no point in comparing there's no point in comparing yourself stop think is what i'm seeing right now is it making me feel good is it making me feel encouraged empowered inspired if not uninstall block unfollow don't recommend this channel don't recommend this video don't recommend this tiktok not interested clicking all those things because if it's not making you feel good why on earth? We're on social media to feel entertained, to learn something new, to be inspired, to feel creative, to learn new things. But we're not there to feel disempowered, to feel, oh, like, why is this not my life? We're not, like, we're not there to feel that. Why not turn social media into something? Every time you go there, you feel inspired, you feel motivated, you see affirmations on there, you see... <coughs> see stuff that you're inspired by, that you want to create. <coughs> You do not deserve to feel less than what you are. <coughs> get out there or get in there if you don't want to go outside and enjoy your life. Enjoy your life to the fullest. Romanticize it. Make it seem as fun as you can and do things that you love. Do, do things that make your child self loves. You don't have to always do things that are productive, bring you money or whatever. Yeah, you might need that, but... You know, your happiness is so important. Like, you're not going to be at the end of your life and saying, oh my god, I'm so glad that I work that much for that money. You're going to be glad. You're going to think of all the good times, the times that you chose your happiness. You chose to do things that your child self would be super happy to do. You're going to think of that stuff. You're not going to think like, oh my god, I'm so glad that, yeah, I, I did that. I did that productive thing. I did that productive thing. That society always, society always wants me to do. I'm so grateful that, no, you're not going to be happy about that at all. You're going to be depressed. You're going to regret doing those things. Why not just have a balance? Why not just do things that you make you happy and not focus on comparing that time and energy? Could it be focused on your own affirming or your own persisting and in your own visualization? And only if people that inspire and uplift you, that's when you should be engaging with them, interacting with them, and looking through their feeds. But also focus on your own self and living your own life that way. Don't live through other people because you deserve to live that because those experiences and have those manifestations as well. And that is a big sign that you're going to have them and as well. So don't feel jealous. And if those jealous feel, feel things come up work through them in a way to reframe them we make change the perspective on them say that yeah i'm gonna get that as well like yeah good for you you have that too me too i have that even better okay that's all that's all i have for today's video let me know in the comments below how you feel you are enough you deserve the best and i hope to see you soon bye